Hey there, collectives, and welcome back for a general love reading. This general love reading is going to tap into the relationship with your person. If you are dealing with a third party, let's see what's going on with your person in the third party. It is a general, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. All right, universal energy of love and light. Thank you for your spiritual protection. Thank you for abundance. Thank you for protecting those who are viewing this content. May they find peace, healing, and love in their lives on this spiritual journey. May each individual that is viewing this content find their soul's purpose and they can live successfully in it. Spirit, we thank you for your guidance. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your wisdom. And we thank you for your healing. All right, what's going on with the third parties here? Ascension in the reverse. <clears throat> So it says transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So for some of you guys, <laughs> whatever situation they're in, if they thought it was going to be something uh, successful, it's not. It's like a disappointment. I feel like if your person chose a third party, they are disappointed because what they thought was going to be something that was going to be. Is, is, see, girl talk. This in this in reverse. <clears throat> I feel like your person is in a dead end situation, but they're not releasing it. There is there is X. Meanwhile, they're stalking you. <clears throat> and they may even come back and chase you because they are codependent here. Wow. So this is what's going on with your person in a third party. They're not happy. The chaser. I feel like they're watching you because they're not happy with the choices that they made. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment. See, somebody feels like you and you didn't got off of that, that cycle and you chose to move on. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perceptions. <clears throat> It says meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling lifted, feeling uplifted friendship. That's in the reverse. Somebody's, I feel like your person <clears throat> is in a karmic relationship. And you may have blocked all communication from this person. So let's see. I'm getting the energy of somebody here is regretting the choices that they made, regretting that they ever met this karmic. I feel like now that you have pulled yourself away from this relationship, their relationship has fell apart now. Now it seems like this same person may be chasing after you or your person may be trying to get rid of their karmic, but their karmic is chasing after them, not wanting it to be over. I see that too. I feel like your person is trying to get away from this karmic, but their karmic is chasing after them. So it could be that this karmic is watching them, stalking them because they're codependent. Even though it's not a healthy connection, they're still not moving on because you got X in the reverse. It says breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. They're not stopping the, the, the cycle. And you got girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. That's in the reverse. And underneath that, you got the chaser. So your person is trying to get away from this person, but this person is codependent. And they're watching and stalking your person. So for some of y'all, your person, even if your person wants to try to get back with you, see? There go the lovers in the reverse. This is a karmic relationship. So yeah, your person that's in a third party, they're in a karmic relationship here. Could be a Gemini here. So you got a, ascending in the reverse. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. I feel like your person is not reaching out to you because they got to get this person off of their back. I feel like this is somebody here, they stalk your person because it says sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking. It's like this person is showing up in your person's, um, see, nine of pentacles in the reverse. 
somebody don't want to let go. So they like, like I said, this is the third party reading. So whoever your person is with, if you're trying to figure out if your person, what type of situation, what they're going through with their karmic, yeah, they, they're in a karmic relationship and the karmic does not want to let them go. So they're stalking this person. So I feel like this person is going under this person's social media, under fake aliases, trying to uh, engage this person and tempt them so that they can gaslight them. It's, I feel like somebody want to catch them and want to trap them up because they don't want this person no more. But they probably told this person that they want to be alone, but they trying to figure out if they do they want to be alone or do they just don't want to be with them? Because I feel like somebody may be worried that they want to come back to you. Why is this ascending in the reverse with the lovers and the nine of pentacles in the reverse? Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. What's going on here, spirit, for the collective? See, seven of pentacles is in the reverse. Somebody realized that all this time they've been put in this relationship, nothing came of it. <clears throat> Only thing it did was bring a lot of imbalance, a lot of imbalance in finances, emotions. and Because you got the eight, you got the nine and the seven of pentacles. So for some of y'all, you're dealing with somebody here who felt stuck in the situation. But I feel like they're trying to get away from this person. But I feel like this person is not going to give up without a fight. What's up with this addiction? The addiction, the chaser, and sunglasses is in the upright. But Axe, girl, talking ascending, it's in the reverse. But you got karmic relationship in the upright. So it says codependent obsession. And you know that they are obsessing. Possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. So this person here is very, very controlling. Like I said, it's just, you, can't, you can't get rid of this person real easy. See, it was a, a one-sided relationship here. Addiction, six of pentacles in the reverse. Like I feel like it was all about money. <clears throat> Your person could have been with... This, this karmic here could have been with your person because either they had money and your person was getting money out of them or your person has money and this karmic was getting money out of your person. What's up with this addiction? <clears throat> it's like somebody is very, very immature. They're going to play games. So if your person is trying to get away from this karmic person, they're, they're, they're laying low. They could be secretly watching you too. See, like I said, they can't get away from that nut. Page of swords. See? Addiction. <clears throat> they are obsessed with your person. They could be watching you too. Because you got it twice. See, you got sunglasses and a page of swords. So I'm, 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 I feel like this person is watching your person and they're watching you because they feel like if your person is trying to get away from them, then they must be trying to come back to you. So yeah, they're watching your person and they're watching you <clears throat> because they feel like they done missed out or they're trying to stop this person from starting over with you. Mm. See, Knight of Coins, they trying to slow your person down by blocking. I feel like your person want to be a blocker. <clears throat> your person is a blocker because they're not happy. Oof, this is some dark, yeah, this is some, like I said, this is a blocker. <clears throat> this is a blocker, but it don't matter, it's almost like <laughs> this person so, so vindictive or so karmic-y that they are probably the ones that's chasing after your person. They're probably the chaser. Because they're stalking your person. Even though your person's trying to get away from them, they're not letting your person go. It says chaser and codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. What's going on with this chaser? Because <clears throat> you remember you got addiction with the page of swords. It's like this person that wants to always be around because they want to get in the way. Just in case if you want to go somewhere else and start over, they plan on blocking it or they want to see they probably want to see as you're going back to somebody that you love see the chaser and then the devil see see you just got addiction right there see 
told you to see that's why spirit is telling you that whatever situation your person in it's a karmic relationship and that person don't want to let your person go it could be a capricorn and your person is trying to leave them but they chasing after your person so if they see your person out if they see them out with a date especially oh it's gonna be some drama <clears throat> So they probably watching the collective and your person here. See, this person ain't letting go. This person got an unhealthy obsession. They could, could be that they're not wanting to let go of the benefits of the relationship. Like, I feel like if they were with your person because your person got money, they don't want to let this person go because they don't want to let go of the benefits. <clears throat> Ooh, what's up with the chaser? The high priestess, this could be a spiritual work or two. It could be that this person is so obsessed with your person that she looking at tarot or she going to a spiritual advisor. She could be spending money here, see? She could she could be losing money that she's going to. It's almost like somebody, see? It could be that this person here is going to get spiritual advice. She's paying for services. A lot of money has went into this. So this is somebody here who practices a lot of spiritual things in order to get because they got because they 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 got a problem here. This is the last person to get involved with. Somebody may be somebody may be trying to seek some type of spiritual help to make sure that uh, to start back money because I feel like somebody feel like they're losing. Somebody, somebody is going to get some help, some spiritual, some, some, either they are a spiritual practitioner where they're practicing dark arts because you got that devil card in order to maintain control. So this, you could have been dealing with somebody who was under heavy spell work with this, in this karmic relationship. Oof. Now what's up with the girl talk in the reverse? Somebody don't want to be single. They don't want to be away. They don't want to be with nobody else. And they don't want you to be with nobody else either. Somebody totally wants to control your life and they want to control your wallet. And what they say, they feel like they go because they're behind the scenes doing stuff. See, ace of wands. Somebody don't want you to start over. They don't want you to start over. Because they feel like if you start over, it's going to stop the flow of money that's coming in their life. And they feel like that wouldn't be fair. Mm. Girl talk in the reverse. This girl talk says she ain't single. She's still with you. She, she, so you telling everybody y'all dumb, but she telling people y'all still together. They go to Knight of Cups in the reverse. Like I said here, this person does not want you to go out there and uh, I feel like this person is emotionally damaged. Could be a water sign, a fire sign. I feel like she got unhealthy love. Six of swords. I feel like she don't want you to leave. Even, even though it may be toxic and karmic, they still don't, this person still don't want your person to go because they're codependent. It's not, it's not easy for them. They have abandonment issues. Somebody, somebody feels very, very vindictive. It's like a very evil energy because maybe they've been dealt a, a bad life experience. So it's like this is a very vindictive energy the where they're going to do things dis deceitful. They're going to be behind the scenes doing some stuff. That go just as it could re also represents karma. But somebody, somebody don't want this person to leave because if they feel like if this person leaves them, they're just going to leave all they see. There it is. It could be somebody getting a divorce from somebody. They feel like if your person stops sewing into this relationship, they're not going to be able to make it. So they got to keep on doing the spell work. They got to do it even more so now. Somebody may be coming away from under this. So you got acts in the reverse. Once again, somebody is not accepting a breakup. 
Maybe this is why if this person may have not reached out to you, they may say little things, but I feel like somebody is guarding this person. They may have access to their phone records. They may watch them. They may follow them. Somebody may sit outside of somebody's house. See, this person and can't move on. This is the type of person that will hurt you or hurt your person. See? Oof. X. Or hurt or try to hurt you because they want to move on. And because, like I said, this could be this could have been a marriage. See, somebody don't want you to go be with somebody else. Even though they're the problem. Like I say, if, they, if, it's, if your person go try to date somebody, come try to date you, you're going to have a problem. Somebody going to have a problem with that person. Yeah, they, they, they for the streets. They ready to fight. They ready to cuss you out. They ready to do all of that. So you could, you could, your person could be telling your person that they're done with them, but they not accepting it. This is the type of energy that if you see, if you was to date this person and go out with them, if they see y'all out, they're going to be asking you what you're doing with a man. And he, <laughs> and he probably, and y'all, for some of y'all, this masculine is scared of this feminine. Yeah, they scared. That's why this person may not be dating nobody. They may be trying to hide out. If this person dated anybody, they're going to go out of town. So this person may be sneaking to get in contact with you, especially if they want to come back. Now you got sunglasses. Yeah, this, this karmic is chasing your person. Not wanting to let go of that wallet. Not wanting to let go of the benefits. Why sunglasses here? Ten of wands, see? This person is a burden because they can't move. <laughs> this person is watching their every move. Because they know that this person wants somebody else. See, knight of pentacles, knight of wands. They already know this person, how they get down. It could be somebody that they have children with that don't want to let them go. I feel like this person, if they're in the night of wands, they on the run, they on the prowl. You can't, you can't hold a man down that don't want to be down. I feel like somebody was taking care of somebody here and somebody was very, very toxic and demanding. And I just feel like it's the time when people are waking up from manipulation. But then some people are under it because of the karma that they sold. The hangman. I feel like spirit is trying to get somebody time to wake up. I feel like your person is waking up. This is why the manipulation is not is, is not affecting this person. There, it's like this person may have been trying to get away from this person for a very long time. See, this person probably watching folks on this person job with this three of pentacles and nine of cups. Somebody may be watching this person. You could be dating somebody on the job and they got a crazy karmic that's watching y'all. Especially if they call themselves breaking up with them. They, they going to be showing up on the job and accusing everybody of being with that person. You could be the person that's with them. This, this person, if this person catch y'all together, it's going to be problems. I feel like somebody just want peace, see? Like I feel like this person has feelings for someone else. See there? So like, a, like I said, I feel like people are waking up from these karmic relationships and they're, they're moving towards love. Those little partnerships and agreements that they had set up, it could be some type of stuff that's a pay for play. You know what I'm saying? They paying for pleasures or whatever and they end up getting these toxic karmas that's doing spell work on them to make sure they keep on taking care of them. But what they're finding out is that it's not real. They're beginning to be possessive. See, like I said, somebody's thinking about somebody from their past. It's like, it's, I'm telling you, these relationships with, with these karmics and these third parties, they're so toxic now that these masculines are waking up because they're tired of it. They want harmony. See, there it is. Enlightenment, see. It's like the work that the spell work that used to have them stuck and bound like they really had something. But they would just see most of these masculines, they get caught up because they have a lot of uh, lust. That's why they end up getting caught up. See, so that's how these masculines, been, whoever this mask, that's how they got caught up. 
They got caught up by a high priestess because of what was already in them. But now that they are enlightened, now they're trying to get away from it. But it ain't going to be that easy. So wherever they go, she's going to follow. And she, she's one of the ones that ain't got no shame. She'll knock on your door. Wherever she see the vehicle, hey, you could be at church. <laughs> you could be at church, god dang it. She coming up in there. Yeah, that, that, that's so somebody can learn a lesson here. Learn a lesson that you can't, it's almost like, look, you, you know what you was getting yourself into. You were lusting after something. Now somebody had to, somebody's going through all of this, all of this drama just to get away from this karmic, just to get to somebody here who they feel like they have a real love connection with. And now the karmic wants to stop it. All right. All right. Collective, this your reading, your third party uh, check in. If this video resonates, please like, share and subscribe.